I suppose I should really start with the card really and this is uh, this is the big shave today, it's Saturday the 10th uh, it's the card that the, the, some of the group did for me with signatures on it brilliant, on Tuesday this week Brian Davis sought me out uh, went to my place of work, I was a bit worried actually I thought it was, thought it was uh, I don't know, I don't know what I thought actually but uh, he turned up anyway and it, with uh, some gifts, bearing gifts be wary of Scouts' bearing gifts and the first gift he got out was uh, was, was this, it's the, it's the Titan Razor got a dog sniffing me like, uh, it's the Titan Razor and we can see it but it's a uh, it's very hefty machine made uh, stainless steel beautiful made, it all fits together really neatly uh, you can see the head, apparently this is a uh, it's the medium head and uh, how close we can get, it's got, a, it's got a handle with a grip on it, it's lovely so I've got an axe blade in there the second thing I got uh, surprise, surprise, surprisingly uh, was a, was one of these, one of these fantastic uh, brushes, badger brush the type of wood it is, is a an amboina amboina there you go, Amboina. Can't read it. Anyway, this is uh, Rod Neep's uh, little handiwork. Fantastic stuff. So, uh, there's that. I'm going to try that today as well. Um, I'm going to show you this obviously. I'm not going to use it in the shave because, but it's another Rod Neep uh, special. Fantastic pen. I've been using this last couple of days. It's made out the same wood. It's got a brilliant nib on it as well. Look at that nib. A little bit of black ink in that, and you're away. And um, then there's also some uh, shaving stuff, which is razor rock green tea, sensitive artisan shaving soap. Can use a bit of that. It smells absolutely gorgeous. And finally, there's a bit of razor rock cumber cheech, la familia paraban, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Orange blossom and jasmine artisan shaving. Um, start one, so that's going to go at the end. So I'm going to start off by soaking the brush a little bit, and the brush a bit damp. So there you go. Uh, I'm getting a bit of uh, getting some of the soap on the brush. So big, big shock. Um, and um, don't know. Uh, Shock probably the wrong word really, it was it was more of a sort of um surprise. And then when it was you know when Brian started saying what was happening, I suddenly realised I was probably a lot earlier than I thought. When I when I originally went in for the heart, you know, I had the heart attack and the operation, I was just more worried about getting out. And the you know, like anything else happening didn't really occur to me. Um because I'm a sort of positive type of guy. But the last thing he expected was, you know, the people in the big shave to sort of club together and do it. But, uh, so it left me with a bit of a lump in my throat and uh, feeling really good actually. The person I work with was uh, was equally shocked and she was, she sort of, you know, she was like pretty surprised really. You know, so this, it's sort of uh, <coughs> thinking out uh, faith in, in Facebook people. People slag Facebook off a lot, you know, and then, you know, we've had our, we've had our history of trolls and people trying to upset things, but literally, Big Shave's a fairly self-policing group, and when people do start getting out of, out of order, they usually knock back into shape quite quickly, um, but I wasn't expecting this anyway, so let's go back to the review, so here's the, here's the time with the blade, let's go for the first pass. Got a very precise feel to it, very sort of surgical feel. The trouble with getting things like this, though, I'm sort of now thinking maybe I should cut down on what I've got because I've got cupboards and surface areas full of stuff, and uh, I think getting a top piece of uh, top piece of kit like this might mean a lot, 
I'll thin things down a little bit. This might be a bad thing, really. Tone the rad down a little bit. Okay, so that went on really well. The brush is great. The brush is fantastic. Look at that. Well done, Rod. And uh, what else is happening? Well, we've been to the the last fortnight of the uh, the election campaign. I'm standing as a, a local council in Liverpool, um, trying my best to canvas a campaign, given the fact I've just come out of hospital. But uh, I seem to be doing all right. I'm not. I'm not, not sure I'm going to win, but people know I'm standing, and a lot of people said they're going to vote for me. So, <clears throat> all we can do is keep our fingers crossed. We don't have the big resources of the parties, you see, so people I'm standing against, the main sort of person I'm standing against is, is in the Labour Party. And they have lots of activists who will come out and deliver the leaflets. I'm fairly, you know, minimum approach, sort of a one-man band, really. Uh, which, which, which I think is a good thing, really, because it shows people that I'm dedicated. Um, it also shows people that I am an underdog, and some people people do like the underdogs, don't they? So now we're going for the third pass now, and um, we're going to go down the dual line. So I've been out a couple of nights still doing leaflets. I've been on the streets talking to people. I've just got permission as well to uh, put a big poster on on a wall of a shop. So in Labour, I haven't done anything like that. So. Um, we're in an interesting position in Liverpool because Labour have sort of got it all their own way. Um, the collapse of the Liberal Democrats in Britain nationally is reflected locally. So there's no, there's no one, no big party able to stand up against them. We do have some from UKIP uh, who's making a lot of noise. Uh, it's all, it's all noise. There's not real substance there. And um, but he's accused me of attacking him, which I find difficult to to fathom out because you know I don't remember attacking him. <clears throat> but I think he's one of these people who's like a bit of a conspiracy theorist. Okay, so what's the shave like? <coughs> well, the shave's absolutely divine. <laughs> it's absolutely divine, folks. Yeah, um, I'm gonna take my glasses off, wash my face off. And uh, I'm off to a, a meeting actually, the, the Polish community in Liverpool have organised a conference for politicians to come along and speak about what, you know, what their views are on, on migration and the, the various groups in Liverpool, people like the Poles, some of the African uh, people recently come into the city and um, I've been invited because I'm one of the few a few independents standing in the city to talk about it, so interested. People starting to sit up and take notes. So we, even if we don't get in this time, at least I'm going to be uh, trying again next year. So <clears throat> let's try the moisturising cream. A big blob of cream, rubbing into my hands, onto the face, onto the forehead and the eyes. That's nice. Oh, that's really nice. this off my hands and that's about it so uh, not spectacular today um, it's nice to do a big shave I haven't done video for a while it's nice to do a big shave with all the stuff that people have given me as well and it's so nice to uh, think well people are really good people sort of um, people are very negative aren't they about, about other humans and how people treat each other and and what happens in the big shave has been uh, a real eye opener and confirmation of, uh, of people's um, positivity, really. So, thanks very much for everything, chaps. Um, what started off as a notion in this bathroom three years ago, four years ago, uh, is turning turned into a sort of worldwide phenomenon, which I never thought it would do. Uh, big thank you to everyone. I'm getting better, miles better now uh, than I was. Um, and um, 
I'll see you all next week when I do another big shake video. Goodbye from Liverpool for me, Steve Farragher. Ta-da!